What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm really excited because we're doing something different on the channel. Now I've done these kind of videos before and that's going to be showing you guys my collection but usually when I do these videos I show off the GX collection. You guys know me I'm a GX guy. However in today's video I want to show you guys some of the stuff that I collect that's not necessarily GX card. There's a lot of really cool cards in here that are not necessarily related to the GX anime or the GX theme and they hide, they go in here. They hide in here. There's a lot of ultimate rares, ghost rares, stuff like that because I really like collecting high ready things and I really wanted to show it off to you guys. I don't know. It's kind of fun showing it to you guys and I like seeing you guys' feedback. In the past videos, I get comments saying, oh, I have this card. Or I have this card or you should really add this to your collection. And it just makes it fun for me because I know as a community, we all like to collect cards. Now in today's video, we're going to be doing that. But before we get into it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already because we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers and I know we can make it happen because the Spanko Squad is the best squad on YouTube. We upload 10 videos per week, a full five days a week. You guys get two videos per day one long video one short you guys are gonna get a little bit of everything so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and with that let's get into the collection all right so let's just get right into it because i'm kind of excited to show you guys some of the stuff that i just collect that might not necessarily be the gx stuff right so you guys are gonna see a lot of ultimate rares and that's just because i'm a big ultimate rare guy so you guys can see here we have the super quanto alties a utopia ulti i really like alties way more than crs by the way so there's gonna be a lot of cards in here that you guys are gonna see are available in collector's rare and if it's a collector's rare and an ultimate rare i'm always going to pick the ultimate rare so that's just kind of how i do it so that's the same thing here with the utopia same thing with the dingirsus here's a zeus over here i believe somewhere else there's a second zeus because i know i have two of these so keep in mind this is not organized by the way i should mention that this was an attempt to be organized at one point and then it's not really organized so you guys are going to see ultimate rares and then random things here and there throughout the binder so it's not organized but i mean I, I do the best that i can so yeah just a bunch of ots ultimate rares over here firewall dragon is really nice thanks spiders decode talker of course more ultimate rares you guys are going to see over here these vanity fiends are ots pack vanity fiends because vanity fiend comes in ots ulti as well as uh, cdip ulti which you guys are going to see here in a second but yeah these are the ots pack ultis over here we got a bountiful artemis we got the levies we got a place at a licorice we got an armed dragon level 10 i had to have this one i actually want to get more of these they're, they're fairly cheap and i think the card is just so nice so like i kind of want to get more of these armed dragon level 10s to be honest with you i just think the card is it's just so clean i don't know why i only have the one the euro print ones by the way are insane i don't have any euro print ones this is just an na print but the euro print ones are absolutely beautiful we have a place here a water enchantress of course for the brave package i don't even have the full package fun fact i only have the water enchantresses cowboy over here i'm gonna tell you guys a funny story with this cowboy so cowboy is just a beautiful ultimate rare honestly on its own but a funny story with this is my friend and i uh, we went to a flea market or something at one point. This was years ago. We went to like a flea market and we both saw it. And uh, I think the guy was offering, it was very cheap at the time. And like, I, well, it wasn't cheap necessarily, but it was being sold for really cheap. And so we both wanted it. So we're like, you know what? Let's split it 50-50. But when we go home, let's duel to see who keeps it. I was on ABC at the time. Shout out Amir. Amir was on BA at the time. I quick swiftly 2 owed him. And I think we both paid like, five, I think we paid like 10 bucks for the card. It's like $5 each. And it was kind of like whoever wins gets to keep the card. I ended up winning, which is nice. We have a place that are Winter Cherries over here. Winter Cherries, fun fact, is my favorite hand trap of all of the uh, the, the hand trap ladies. The lollies. Lollies is what that what you call them? Yeah, so this is my favorite of the hand traps. I just think it's the coolest one. It's also the one that I saw when i got my first top or one of my first tops i was playing it in the main deck that was kind of like my quote unquote spicy tech so uh yeah it was really cool just sentimental value there we have an alubur here we got a dogmatic ecclesia here's our second zeus i knew i had a second one somewhere and then you guys are gonna see a lot of ulti staples we got ulti cyclones ulti scapegoats ulti twisters ulti droplets ulti fusion destinies keep in mind guys this has just been something that i've been building for a very long time and i always try to keep it safe right so uh, that's why it's in this binder with the little zipper and stuff on it i always want to keep these cards in good condition I, I can't even tell you off the top of my head how much this binder costs. You guys, I'm sure, are going to see it in the video thumbnail somewhere where I say, like, this is a $10,000 binder. I don't know if it's $10,000. I actually have no idea. But it's it's obviously very expensive. There's a lot of high-end stuff here. And again, like, Cyclones comes in CR. But why would I ever pick a CR over a beautiful ultimate rare? So, yeah. A lot of ultimate rares over here. The spell cards are really, really nice. Maybe I should get... Is there another spell that I'm missing? Maybe I should get a full page of just, like, spells. I feel like that would look really nice. Maybe. I don't know. More ultis here. We got the ultimate 
ulti Solemn Judgments from OTS pack. Recently came in a collector's rare, but just ulti is always going to be king. Skill Drain Ultimate Rare, Imperm Ultimate Rare. This card, funny enough, I wanted for so long and I was so excited when I got it. And then, funny enough, I only picked up two at the time. So finding the third took forever. But when I did find the third, oh baby, I was I excited. Let me tell you guys, I was excited when I found the third. So then you guys are going to see, it's going to take a shift here. Um, here, all of these you guys have been seeing mostly are OTS pack ulties, some Astral pack ulties. A lot of things here are going to be ulties from main sets. A long time ago, you guys used to be able to pull ulties from main sets. One of my favorite cards is actually funny enough, not an ulti. It's the uh, Starlight DPE over here. One of the few Starlights I own. I don't own many Starlights. Uh, the DPE, speaking of Starlights, I'll just show you guys the other one that I own is the Blackwing Dragon. So these I think are really two really very beautiful Starlight rares. Obviously, there's a lot of really nice Starlight rares, but those are really the only two that I have at the moment. I don't really like picking up the staples in Starlight Rare. Maybe that's just me. I just feel like I would never play them, which is why I just never pick them up. Maybe, maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm being weird. Then we have a bunch of dragons on this page, which just kind of coincidentally happened. I don't think I meant for that to happen, but a bunch of dragons, Odd Eyes Vortex, Ulti, Scarlet Red Dragon. Um, these are all first edition, by the way. So how I like to collect my high rarity things, obviously OTS pack doesn't come in first edition, but if it comes in first edition, I'm going to have it in first edition. I don't like having unlimited for certain things. It just feels like you're trying to max it out, but you're not really maxing it out. And don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with having ulti unlimited cards. It just for me, like I really think if I'm going to buy the ulti, if I'm going to purchase the ulti or go out of my way to find an ulti, I really want it to be first edition. And speaking of first edition, this is a first edition Stardust Dragon uh, Ultimate Rare. And uh, you guys might be able to see there's some damage on the card over here. Uh, I don't know where that's from. I don't know where that came from, but I remember I saw it and I saw it with the damage. So don't get me wrong. I knew it was damaged when I picked it up. It, that's the only damage on it. Otherwise, it's literally near mint. There's just like a random scratch over here. And uh, I got it for a really good price. So I couldn't say no to that. Here's some more ultis. Again, these are not really OTS pack ultis. We got a Sukiyomi. Kagesuchi over here, Levi, Logia, Logia obviously is a personal favorite. You know me, I'm a Dino guy. Just more alties over here that you guys can see. More alties over here. If you guys didn't think I had enough Vanity Fiends, here are more Vanity Fiends. These ones, unlike on the first page or the second page over here, these are OTS alties. These are all CDIP alties. So these are original from the GX era, Ultimate Rare. They're all first edition. I have a Nearman set, and then I have like an LP set, which is still kind of cool, right? I don't mind if it's LP. And then the Quacky Mero Drago. I just think this card in alti is just so beautiful i don't i don't know what it is i, I like it, the card is obviously really cool and it's really good but the the, the rarity the card just ah, absolutely beautiful man i just love these ultimate rares so uh yeah there's more alties over there uh some more alties we have some ghost rares over here we have dark arm dragon really nice we have the number 107 we have a majestic star dragon so some of these are from the ghost from the pasts and then some of these are kind of older uh these two minutes specifically are kind of older i have a machine do playset of ultimate rare first edition of course beautiful card i have a playset here of the megaton promos i just think the artworks on these megaton promos are really nice and i feel like over time they're gonna go up in value they're not super expensive right now but i I feel like over time these are definitely going to go up in value and it's just something i find really cool so uh yeah that's kind of why i have a page of these and then i feel like i have more of these oh well oh speaking of megaton promos uh this is one that i pulled myself it's a dark magician girl and you guys can see the misprint over here the name is way out of the text box i actually had an offer for this card obviously this card doesn't have an actual price because misprints don't necessarily always have markets right i got an offer for I believe it was 500 USD. Can't remember. It was a while ago. It was when I first pulled it, which is kind of crazy. I said no. Uh, maybe I should have said yes, to be honest with you. But some of these cards obviously are really cool. This is a first edition SDK Blue Eyes, first edition SDY Dark Magician. And then I'm missing the Red Eyes first edition. Uh, funny enough, though, they're not in English. I just always thought these cards were cool. And uh, these are in Portuguese. And so my issue is I've been able to find a ton of Spanish red eyes in first edition. I haven't been able to find Portuguese because I want a set of the Portuguese ones. I don't know, it's just kind of how I like it, right? So here's the Arcana Dark Magician. These are like the OCG, by the way, if you guys couldn't tell from the card borders and stuff. And then uh, here's the artwork. The Dark Magician Girl, of course, being my favorite. This card's stunning. And I just love this the, the way they used to do it. Or I don't think it's the way they used to. I think these are like promos. I don't think they actually played with these cards specifically. Maybe I'm wrong, though. I don't know. But we have a playset of the Blue Eyes from Bandai over here that you guys can see. I love these cards. I actually picked these two up at Nationals, which are really nice. There's two different ones. Uh, they're essentially both the same, like from the same, I guess, series of Bandai. Maybe I'm wrong. But one is in English and then one is in Japanese, of course. Same exact card. They're both super rares, but I think this one's a lot rare than this one because the asian english i think was just a lot harder to find you guys can correct me if i'm wrong there's just a lot of really cool things in here this is an ultimate rare chaos emperor dragon 
from the OCG, of course. I believe you got that from a Mega 10. Or not a Mega 10. Uh, it was a 10 promo, I think. Here is a Lodge In. It's a super rare German Lodge In from Retro Pack 1. And I think this card is absolutely stunning as well. Why would I randomly want a Lodge In in an Ancient Lamp over here? If you guys don't know, my real name's Aladdin. So technically, the highest rarity of Ancient Lamp is a secret rare from Retro Pack. I don't have. I don't have it and it's really expensive weirdly enough so i kind of want one eventually this is a retro pack lodge in i maybe want one in english one day but uh for now here's that and then we have a bunch of these um field center cards that they started giving out some of them you have to win so like these ones were just like sneak peek that you get but like the the kitchen dragon maid over here or is that chamber one of these dragon maid cards this card over here you have to actually win to get this card same thing with the Hulk, i believe this this is also not a token that you can just get this is a Yu-Gi-Oh day token so you had to i think i i actually won this token you have to come top four at Yu-Gi-Oh day to win this so i won this i don't think i won this funny enough i think i won this though lots of really cool just random tokens and stuff you, i'm telling you, you guys are gonna see a ton of random things over here there's also random empty slots i don't even know what that is to be honest with you this is a playset of secret rare cyber dragons from the tens i thought they were really cool uh this is another misprint that i pulled it is the arm dragon Fun under level seven. Uh, I kind of want two more of these because I kind of want to play the deck and it would be cool to play the deck with the misprints, right? So uh, just a lot, a lot of really cool things. You guys can see, and there's the things all over the place. It's not just ultimate rares. You guys are going to see here, like you guys are going to see later on, actually, funny enough, I actually really like manga promos and uh, jump promo cards. So from the Shonen Jump manga, or from just any kind of manga. I, I don't know what the manga is now, but you know, I really like these cards. So you guys are gonna see a ton of them at random because just, I, I think they're really cool. And I obviously they're like kind of one of a kind, right? Uh, you have the Magi Magi Magician Girl, which is really nice over here. This card was never printed in the TCG. I don't think it's going to get printed in the TCG if I'm being honest with you. This is a card that I believe Kazuki uh, made the artwork himself and he refused to print it in the CCG because he didn't want it to get changed the artwork and then now of course rest in peace Kazuki Takahashi so I don't think we're going to be getting it in the TCG anytime soon these are two collector's rares Unicorn and Draco Future I'm not even a huge fan of collector's rares man. I'm going to be honest with you I might get rid of them there's some god cards over here this is a Shonen Jump Blue Eyes which uh, by the way like this is the thing uh, these are a bunch of Shonen Jump cards over here as well but like look how nice the old school ultra rare was I don't know if it's just me but the old school ultra rare is just really really nice and you guys are going to see all of these cards over here are all just jump promos some really cool ones as well i think wicked racer is really cool tomb dark magician girl over here is really cool i don't want to waste you guys' time doing all this this is this is really cool as well actually i'm missing i think one more or two more okay so red dragon archfiend also comes in a ghost rare which i really want the ghost rare there's another ulti that i'm missing i feel like out of these but my favorite one is uh the arcanite magician assault mode i think this ultimate rare is just so like it's so pretty i picked this up for like i think like three bucks and it's near mint first edition it's kind of crazy Here's some more ultimate rares, actually, funny enough. Uh, we have the Reflegia over here, another Utopia. I didn't even know I had a second one until just now. Colossus over here. We have the brand new Collector's Rare, Wake Up Your Elemental Hero. I think this is a really nice card. And of course, Collector's Rare, Hero card. You know how it is. Lightning Chidori Ulti, Pendulum Dragon Ulti. I think we're coming to the end of this. Yeah, so we have another playset of uh, Winter Cherries. We also have a playset of this card over here. Fun fact, when I first got back into Yu-Gi-Oh, I just thought this card was absolutely beautiful and I really wanted one but I could never get one. And so I decided to get a playset because I can get them now. So Supreme Arcanine Magician Ultimate Rare First Edition. I got a nice playset of these, right? Which is kind of cool. And then, yeah, these are just some more um, jump promos and manga promos. This is Summon Sorcerers from the Jump, Jump. I think these are manga promos. Dandelion is Jump. And I think that's about it. I think in the back here, yeah. So in the back here, I have some other things that I'm just holding on to. These are the Advanced Crystal Beasts. These are probably going to go into the GX Binder soon. These are the GX Speed Duel Secret Rares, which I think are really nice. And then these are the Manga promos. Not just promos, I mean, sorry. The Manga cards that Jaden used in the GX Manga. So... Okay, that honestly didn't make a lot of sense. But you guys kind of know what I'm talking about. And they're all the highest rarity you guys can find them in. Gaia is secret first. Esquardo is from the manga. Uh, we have Ocean here, which is a jump promo. Blast here is a jump promo as well. So yeah, you guys can kind of see these kind of things. I have a couple random OCG ultimate rares over here. But they're nothing really too special. I believe I have some signed cards as well. But that might be in another binder. Yeah, I feel like, oh, there's some signed cards. So actually, I have this signed by Ruxin because we did a pack battle together. And I just had Ruxin sign it. And then this is signed by Yusei Fudo's uh, voice actor. I have a lot of um, GX. Like, I have a lot of cards signed by Jaden and Aster Phoenix. But I think they're in my GX binder, so they wouldn't be in here. But that's kind of it for the collection now. Again, like, I have no idea what this collection is actually worth. I'm going to take a good look at it and probably put it in the thumbnail. Let's be honest with the you. And I'm going to put it in the title. We need to clickbait over here, guys. You know how it is. But thank you guys all for watching. Uh, this is just, I don't know. I just wanted to show off my collection because I always show off the GX stuff. And I really haven't got a chance to show off the other th things that I collect. So I really wanted to show it to you 
you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. We do deck profiles, product openings, dual replays, combo videos, and I guess collection videos just like this one. So hope you guys enjoyed. We upload a full 10 videos per week, five days a week. You guys are going to get a little bit of everything on this channel. So make sure you guys subscribe because we're on the way to 10,000 subs. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. And with that, thank you. Signing out. Peace.